Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Woo! Yeah, take a look. I don't know. This is like uh, one heck of a foggy morning here in PA. But look what we got for you. We have the last one in the series that we get to review. We started with the Kratos. We went with the Caden. Saw amazing accuracy out of both of those guns. And then we get to the little guy. We get down here to the Aquila, the Bullpup. As you can see, it's absolutely uh, gorgeous. This Turkish walnut stock is absolutely amazing. Let's go over just a couple features of the gun. Got a beautiful rubber butt pad here, which is awesome. Here in the back, you can see you have an adjustable, uh, you're able to push this in and adjust your cheek rest here. You can move it back and forth like that. You can do this and you can raise it up a little bit so you get right on your scope right away. Put that down, just tighten that up. Um, one of the best features about this gun for me, it is unregulated, but that doesn't, what we saw in the chronograph test, we already know that, you know what, it doesn't matter what we saw, the, the consistency that I saw is pretty amazing. So here is your power adjuster here, and Ryan will show you the, the rest on there. On the other side, you can see that you have right here, you can see that you can change it to the lines you want and set the gun up the way you want. You also see the pick rail on the bottom here for the bipod to put it on your bag. Gives you a stable shooting off the bench. 280 cc reservoir in here. The gun's about 33 inches overall. It's a little over 7 pounds. This is one heck of a nice bull pup. You got your weaver and your pick rail on top. Uh, and it is low medium, so it is backyard friendly. This gun is very backyard friendly. I really like, but match grade trigger. The trigger... We, we have all three of these, and we've tested all three. I, I found the triggers all to be super pleasant, and we'll do the trigger pull test for you today, and we'll show you the 50-yard group and standard stuff that we do in our review. But this gun overall is very impressive. In pre-testing, I was sending um, uh, FX 18.1 grains at 900 feet a second, and that's at a high power tune. So... That accuracy with that at 50 yards is amazing, but we want to show you today. So that's enough talking. Let's get to shooting. Woo! And uh, I can barely see 50 yards this morning, but <clears throat> we got to get these videos rolling. Woo! You guys want to see these guns? All right, we got the center point 3 to 12 by 44 on top. Let's see if I can see okay. Yeah, I think, I think we can. We'll try it, Ryan. Oh my goodness, you little bugger, you shoot pretty doggone good. Little bull pup, 22 cal, shooting 50 yards. I mean, it's foggy, I can't really see until I walk down there, but it looks to be a nice little uh, half inch group, which again, what more do you want? I, I, I think that's our standard right now in the air gun world. We really like, you know, 50 yards and we're seeing uh, half inch groups from guns, but this whole line that Benjamin came out with, uh, it's, they are outstanding. Being able to, you know, power adjust, being able to uh, shoot like that, the, you got the Kratos and you got the, the Caden, they all shot, you know, half inch groups at 50, even maybe a little tighter with the Kratos. Ooh, we got 14 ounces there. Thirteen point two. That's pretty consistent. All right. And we got nine point eight. Just a nice break. What a nice trigger. It came this way. So it came from the factory this way. Like I said, I don't do anything to these guns at all to enhance their their accuracy or or anything like that. So I just we shoot them the way they come, and that's it. So. 
Well, that, there you go. There's the trigger pull test. That's pretty nice and clean. And you saw how crisp it is. It's not like it's really setting. It's just clean back. So it, it's right there. All right, let's get ready for some final thoughts. Hey, here we are at the end of the video. The Benjamin Aquila. Oh, my goodness. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the chronograph numbers. So what we saw in chronograph numbers on high power, jacked the whole way up, 18 graners, 900 feet a second. Stayed there for quite a few shots. We'll show you the shot string there. And then I bumped it down to see if I could get, uh, I bumped it down to 880, 884, somewhere down there. And I kept it just a little bit lower to see if I got a couple more in the shot deviation string. And I did. And then I, I bumped it the whole way down just to see 18 grain. What is this gun shooting 18 grain the whole way down? What I'm talking about is a power adjuster. It's shooting 440. I don't know how many shots we'll have to run a shot string with that, but the low power went to 440, so high being about 900 with an 18 grain, and then low at, at 440. So in between there, you could adjust this to whatever you want. If you're shooting around the barns or you're doing anything like that on the farm, you don't want to shoot a hole in the roof, you can tune it back. That's what is great about this is the, the power adjuster, you can do that. And you saw the accuracy even on as high as we could get the gun going, at 900 feet a second with 18 grain at 50 yards. It shot a nice little half inch group. Very impressed with that. Very impressed with the trigger. The trigger was breaking it right around 12 ounces probably average, which I think is nice and clean. I came from the factory that way. This gun has a ton of features with it that we really like. I really like the Kratos, the Caden, and the Aquila. All three guns uh, have performed what we always look for here at Shooter 1721, accuracy. They all have the accuracy. We all saw the accuracy out of them. Super impressed with that. And, you, you know, I didn't talk a lot about the scope, but in all three reviews, we used the same scope. We used the center point 3 to 12 by 44. What I like about this is how clear it is. And when you throw it up and you're, you're throwing the gun up and you're looking, you have sight picture instantly. It's nice and clear. Yeah, I listen, for this gun, 100 yards and in, that's what we do. So, you know, I'm really not shooting out past 100. I can, but this gun for me, so the scope that goes with it, that's kind of how I think about it. I mean, if I wanted to, I could shoot to 150. I get it. This scope's still good. No problems there. But I just wanted to mention this scope. Yes, I am getting dripped on. We have this fog out here this morning. It's just ridiculous. But this is Rick with Shooter 1721 with the Benjamin Aquila. Thanks for watching.